Welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we're going to talk about that great hero, that great people's prince, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump. And he's been indicted in New York by some scumbag. Let's talk about that tonight on the report for Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about Donald Trump being indicted. Now, there's some fat prick in uh, New York City owned by George Soros, that nefarious Jewish billionaire, ladies and gentlemen, and his name is uh, Alvin Bragg, otherwise known as Fat Alvin. That's what we're calling him now, ladies and gentlemen, here on the report from Tiger Mountain and elsewhere in the freedom and right-wing communities. So, you know, he has indicted Trump over some bullshit to do with uh, Stormy Daniels. Now, Stormy Daniels was a kind of porn star that Trump may or may not have had an affair with. And personally, this is before he was president, and if he did, you know, I mean, obviously it's not that great for Melania, you know, his wife, but like, um, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I mean? If he did it, you know, Trump probably did, he's probably a bit of a bad boy, he's a bit of a playboy, you know, hard to believe, but it's probably possible. Um, but, you know, who cares? Who cares? I mean, you know, we're going to go on about Clinton. I don't care if Clinton has an affair, as long as it's not on Epstein Island, if you know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. If Clinton's having an affair with a, a woman over the age of 18 or 21, good luck to him. You know what I mean? I don't care. And I don't care the same with Donald Trump particularly before their president, ladies and gentlemen, you know, so whatever happened, I don't care, um, you know, and obviously right in the smack bang in the middle of this, this is a nefarious Jew by the name of Michael Cohen, ladies and gentlemen, he is uh, basically a turncoat, he was someone who worked for Trump, who would, you know, you know, I don't know, just a, a Jewish lawyer who, you know, was involved in Trump deals and stuff, obviously, um, you know, when Trump uh, became the number one candidate, the GOP candidate, and became president, he was sort of, you know, in a position to basically, you know, do a Judas and stick the knife into Trump, which is exactly what he did, ladies and gentlemen, within six months of Trump, um, you know, began to turn on him and he was put before various congressional hearings. And so now this case actually, uh, you know, is, is dependent upon, um, you know, the testimony of this guy, Michael Cohen, who we all know is an absolute liar. So, you know, I don't even think um, Trump was involved in this payoff, so the whole thing is a nonsense. And that itself is not a crime. It's, it's got something to do with so this payoff then broke some other rule for some bigger crime, which is not even mentioned in the indictment. So it basically, it's a show trial. And I mean, look, you know, many of the globalists, um, you know, want to get Trump. They don't want him to run in 2024, ladies and gentlemen, whereas we, the people all over the world, you know, want, want to see Trump back. Um, you know, and uh, I do think Trump's probably got the best chance out of DeSantis and Trump. I mean, DeSantis could be interesting, you know. I mean, I'm not going to say what he don't, but, you know, I mean, you know, he's owned by the Israelis. I mean, even Trump, you know, we all know Trump basically bent over backwards for the Israelis. So, you know, I mean, this is the thing. This is how the globalists work. They have the globalist cabal, which kind of runs the, uh, the left side of politics and the Democrats. And then you have the Zionists who run the right side, the GOP, you know, like Prager and that Charlie Kirk guy and, um, you know, Ben Shapiro. And they keep the discussion on the right so that it's still pro-Israel, you know what I mean? Because you can't have the right turn against Israel. So, you know, this is how it all works. Ladies and gentlemen, so, you know, but I still think Trump, Trump clearly upsets the globalists, which is why, you know, um, you know, he, I think, really fully deserves our support in 2024. Um, you know, he really does upset them. He's even up upset the Zionists of late. I think, um, you know, Bibi, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's turned against him. So I think Trump term two will be very interesting, ladies and gentlemen, because he'll be getting a revenge on a few people who screwed him over. So, um, you know, obviously they're trying to use this indictment, uh, you know, and I agree with um, Barr, the, uh, you know, the Attorney General under Trump, um, that this makes America a banana republic. America is not the kind of country that arrests the leader of the opposition it's the kind of thing that happens in third world countries the kind of thing that happens in you know in in russia or china um so you know it really is a terrible um situation i think for american democracy you know after the uh, completely legitimate election of 2020 you know we all know um you know we, we can't talk about that on, on so you know on social media or on uh, on youtube or else we're going to strike but like um you know it, it's extraordinary um, you know, I mean, obviously, we hope that the terror that's been inflicted, um, you know, on the American people by the Biden regime, which is out of control inflation, World War Three in Ukraine, um, you know, all these terrible kind of industrial accidents that have been happening all over America that seem deliberate and coordinated, some kind of sabotage. 
and the out of control wokeness that's been, you know, all running around America, all this craziness. You know, I, hopefully this will stop under under a new Republican um, president, whether it be Trump or somehow if DeSantis gets up, you know. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens. And, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out because, you know, American democracy has entered, a, I think, a... A, a terrifying phase in many ways because America, for all its faults, has been the kind of, you know, the light upon the hill of, of you know, of democracy, of the Westminster system after World War II um, and the British Empire collapsed um, stupidly fighting the Nazis. Um, then the American Empire rose out of that and has ruled the world since the end of World War II and that is now collapsing. You see China on the rise. So it's a very, we're existing right now in a very interesting historical period and this event with Donald Trump and his indictment uh, has world historical significance. So let's see what happens and let's support Trump. Get out there online and support Trump. Uh, and let's see him run in uh, 2024. And uh, you never know, we could have some luck and have Trump term two, which will be like uh, better than Trump term one because it'll be no more Mr. Nice Guy.